Hi, I'm David Hazelhurst. I'm the acting CEO of the government's new Digital Transformation Office. The DTO has been created to lead a new approach to the government delivering information and services to Australians. We know that Australians expect the same kind of easy interaction that they get when they're doing their online banking or shopping on their mobile device when they deal with government. We also know that people don't want to be smothered with forms or have to queue up in a government office to interact with government. So we'll be working across government to drive a relentless focus on the needs of the user. We'll be taking an agile and open approach to the way in which services and information are developed. We'll be seeking your ideas about what's most important to people and what should be done first. We'll be sharing our ideas early and openly and seeking feedback. And when we actually deploy services and put information out there, we'll be iterating that information and those services to improve them in response to feedback. We also want to create an ecosystem in which the best ideas, methods, and the best people from the private sector can be blended with the best of the public sector in order to deliver great results for the public. To make a start, today we're going live and releasing an alpha version of the new digital service standard. The standard will set out the criteria that all Australian government services and information will need to meet to ensure they're easier to find and easier to interact with. From the middle of 2015, all government agencies will need to ensure that services and information that they are developing or improving comply with the standard. Most importantly, the standard will put the needs of the user first. Releasing the standard in this way, in an alpha form and seeking feedback, is a reflection of the new approach we want to take. Getting the input from the public and from experts out there in the community, including overseas, on the best way in which these services can be delivered. So, if you're interested, follow us on Twitter, get engaged through our website, and stay tuned for bigger announcements from Malcolm Turnbull, the Minister for Communications.